Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got another Mulver Globe unboxing for you. Right. As you've seen from the title, this is Neptune. I've done quite a few so far anyway. Neptune is my latest one I've bought. If I get any money around, we'll get some more in. There's only a few more left to actually get the full collection of these. So it's in a lighter blue box. And on the bottom I've got MG45 Neptune. Now this Neptune, if you don't know much about astronomy, the Neptune is the furthest out planet that we actually have in our solar system. So, over the box, project registration. It used to be Pluto, I know, and there is a Pluto on the Mova collection, which I do want. At the minute, I haven't got it. So, we have the only manual. Disclaimer about the globe, usual stuff that they put in here with these, which is great. Really, one day must read all of these. So, let me come up with the stand now. With this one being the latest one, we haven't peeled off the back or the front, but I must do that. Oh no, I don't, I can leave that on there. So, it comes with the standard stand three pegs. They never seem to go in here and, and they're always very wobbly, but. Once they're in with the weight on top, they're perfectly fine. So, let's get that down over there. Polystyrene, still like this plastic polystyrene. We keep this anyway, even if, if not, if we, we were throwing this in the bin, we'd reuse this anyway. Could use this for all sorts of bits and bats. We wrote Neptune on there, that's good, that rubs away. But the, old, the other polystyrene, one, it goes through me, two, I don't like it, three, it's bad for the environment, and four, no. out of the bag and there you have it we have a blue globe very nicely colored blue globe actually it's very close to the globe that's the color of my bench now there isn't much features on here because Neptune is a gas giant you can see over here there's a, there's a wispy gas you gotta think nowadays with an astronomer you've got planets are usually what they are, what they're going to be. Your gas giants, Jupiter is massively active and you can tell that. Uranus is a little, got a bit of activity on it. Saturn has got these bands and belts all around it, but there's going to be times where they'll be, be a lot more calmer. Now, Mother Globes, obviously, they're a, a plastic ball inside a plastic ball. There's oil inside there, there's no air bubbles, which is good. There's a join in the middle, you can tell right there. But I can't show you where all the detail is, which is down here and spinning around to... Because you can't keep them upright. They're always upright. There's a gyroscope in it. One bit of detail I can show you at the moment is this cloud going past here. And maybe one here? Oh no, there? No? No? Eh? Trust me, it's there. But we'll get it on the bench and have a look and shift the camera around. So we can have a damn good look at this. I mean, it's... From what I can see at the minute, there's a great blue spot right here, going around steadily. I mean, sidewards, this is actually quite a nice looking model, but from the top, it doesn't look that good, but it's a gorgeous shade of blue though. Absolutely gorgeous shade. But, um, and can you see? Yeah, that's the only bit of detail I can actually show you at the moment because I can't turn round. I just love the way that you can do all that sort of stuff. And it just, the, in, the internals, if you keep your eye on that, it just, it, it, it's a mind bender. It's absolutely brilliant. I love playing about with these. So, let's get this on the, on the bench over there. Get the camera at this angle so you can see it properly and let's carry on with this video and there she is you can see there's more 
detail on this. There's a band down the middle, which I think is probably the join between where the pictures have been took or the images have been created. But you've got more detail coming through here. You've got the belts of clouds, the light blue, very strange light blue clouds coming through this. And there is the dark blue spot, which is, it's, it's oval shaped. It's very similar to the, the one on Jupiter. But the colour of this, I just love the colour. I'm not sure if it's coming out, out properly with it being this colour in, inside the garage, but it looks a bit purpley sort of blue. Very nice. Let's get inside there. That's better. So we'll watch it go around a little bit. It is fascinating how they make these and they just spin round. No batteries, no nothing. It's just inside. Just collects the solar power and off it goes. It just spins round. See, there's a black dot there as well. I'm not sure if that's actually natural, normal, or whether or not somebody's done something wrong on the creations because Saturn had exactly the same. They're absolutely gorgeous, these. Let's go a little bit higher up, shall we, and have a look further. So you've got the reflection of the garage there, so I can't really show too, too much anyway. Really, I've probably turned a few more lights out than what's in here. But if I do, it makes it too dark and you can't see it. And then she goes just, just casually spinning around. Absolutely gorgeous. Could watch these for hours, I really could. If we can get you a little higher up, shall we say. Get rid of them. Oh, I got more reflections on there. Gotta go a lot lower. I go much lower than that, unfortunately. Looking up on the model. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, just spinning around nicely. So there's not too much light in here, but just casually going around quite happily. So let's get her back onto the bench. Back away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just mesmerized actually, to be honest. I'm just watching this go around. It's really, really nice. So yeah, let's get this back on the bench. I can package you back away. And there you go. I absolutely love this. It's it's one of possibly my favourite globes on the Mova collection. And because of the, the colour, it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, you've got stuff like, you've got the, your Mars, you've got all your, your surface features, Venus. I've not got Venus, I would love to get it soon with all the clouds, but there's a lot of detail on that. So much Mercury, so many, create, so many creators, it's absolutely ridiculous. But it's it's stuff like Earth that you know that the size of this is is mind boggling. That it's it, you cannot figure. You, you, we live on a, on a little thing. Probably we, we're probably about the size of. Have I got something here that might be about the same size of? I don't know. But we're probably about the grain of about a grain of sand, probably size wise compared to this. So we're absolutely nothing compared to to the size of the gas giants. I mean Jupiter's the biggest, but we are. It's a mind blow to think the size of this. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> without me waffling any further. So I'll leave you to it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was the Mover Globe MG45 Neptune. So yes, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting some more soon and we'll have more reviews of them. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, consider being a Patreon, consider following me on so social media, usual Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I think I'm on something else, Discord as well, there you go. You can talk to me on Discord live, usually, if I'm there. Other than that, I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.